If you've brought a Fractal Terra or you're thinking about buying one, keeping the CPU cool will likely be one of the biggest challenges you face. With no included case fans and space for just one 120mm fan at the bottom, which is almost completely blocked without custom PSU cables, making sure you have the right configuration before you build is very important. I've seen countless people on Reddit saying that they built in the Terra with the Noctua L9A or L9I and ended up with a ridiculously hot and loud system. So in this video, we're going to be testing out five different cooling configurations and seeing how they compare. In the last video, we built in the Fractal Terra with the Noctua L9A, one of the lowest profile CPU coolers you can buy at only 37mm tall, meaning that it has a compatibility rating of 100% of PC cases out there. I tried to cool down a modest Ryzen 5 3600, which with a TDP of 65 watts is considerably lower than the current generation of high-end processors that run double or even quadruple the power in some scenarios. Now if I had looked at the official compatibility page beforehand, which I recommend you do, I would have known that it's not compatible. So of course every time I booted up any kind of workload, it would sound like a hairdryer. Hopefully with the help of some more wonderful Noctua products, which you can find in the link below, we may be able to get some decent temps in this case. Here are the five configurations I tried out. The Noctua L9A, just on its own. The L9A with the official foam duct kit. The Noctua NH-L12S on its own. The Noctua NH-L12S with an additional slim fan acting as exhaust. And that same last configuration but with low noise adapters. After 10 minutes of stressing the CPU, and remember this is a worst case scenario, the L9A does get very toasty at 93.6 degrees Celsius. But just by adding the foam duct, which only cost about £10, reduces the temperatures by over 7 degrees, which is very impressive and worth doing if you already have an L9. Using the L12S reduces temperatures even further down to 81.8 degrees, so if you have the choice, definitely get the L12S. Adding the additional exhaust fan does help, bringing temps down by another 1.8 degrees. So if you're trying to max out your cooling potential, definitely pick one up. And finally, adding the low noise adapters does raise temperatures by 4.2 degrees, but it is so much more pleasant on the ears. If you're conscious about noise and you want a quiet system, this is the setup you need to use. So what cooling setup should you go with? In my opinion, do not get the L9. If you have a mid-range processor or better, you will thermal throttle and you're gonna have a bad time. But if you've already bought one, pick up the foam kit and it's a really cheap way to improve your temperatures, but it does make it louder. The L12S is definitely the one to get. It performs better, it's quieter, and it's actually not that much more expensive than the L9. In my case, I have the adjustable spine set to position two, which gives me 48 millimeters of GPU clearance. So check your graphics card dimensions before you buy this. Getting an extra fan as exhaust does help, but not all that much. If you're going to do this, you need to pick up a slim fan and a fan guard. Not only will your fan not fit, but your cables will stick into the fan blades and it won't even spin. The fan guards are super cheap and you can pick them up for next to nothing. So there you go. Links in the description if you want to pick any of these things up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.